All right, guys, welcome to today's video. We are very excited about this one. It is Thanksgiving weekend. We're on the West Coast with our good friends, Jeff and Deb, and today we are gonna tour their Alliance RV fifth wheel. So Deb and I are going to start on the inside. We're gonna do a full walkthrough. We're gonna look at everything that comes normally with the rig and also some amazing upgrades and customizations that they've done. And then Jeff and Aaron are gonna walk the outside and do the same thing. There's gonna be some fun stuff here, including a mini split, 1,620 amp hours of Battleborn batteries, more ride independent suspension, and a whole ton more. Let's get right into it. Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to Sun Angel, our 2023 Alliance 310 RL. And what an amazing space. Just take a look around and you can feel how open and bright and welcoming it is in here, especially with all these windows. And look at this view. What a great spot to be parked. So let's start here in the kitchen. Yeah. And do a full circle around and hear all about it. Yes. Well, we call this the, the drop zone because that's where everything gets dropped as we come in the door. Mm -hmm. uh, Alliance did a really nice job of putting a little shelf in here so we can tuck away our phones, sunglasses, and we call this our comm center. This Ooh. is where we keep all of our electronic gear for Wi-Fi and connectivity. And one of the things you might notice is above our comm center is a mini split, a Mr. Cool mini split. Now we've been wanting to do a mini split air conditioner for a really long time because most of us know that when we get these RV air conditioners, they're so loud. Yeah. They're very inefficient. Yeah. And so we just really wanted to go with a mini split. So we've got one head in here and one in the bedroom and it keeps everything nice and cool and warm and we can still have a conversation. And another thing that I'm really excited about is a pantry. I've never had a pantry before, Ooh, so I am just so excited. Though the thing that I really like that Alliance did was put in um, a motion lighting oh, track okay. within there. One of the things that I decided to do was actually get these clear storage bins mm -hmm. so that when you look in the, the pantry there, you have a clear view of everything. You know, if you had boxes or, or darker color, you wouldn't be able to clearly see what you've got in there. So and the bins also help things stay where they should be yes. on travel days. Yes, and that was probably our biggest motivation. And sometimes with these pantry doors, they might not latch as well, but we put in a little extra seal on there because if your slide mm -hmm. comes in, you're trying to pull your slide in, oh. it could hit the edge of that. So okay. that's why we put in that little extra. Another thing that I am so excited about is the Norcole 12 volt, 20 cubic foot refrigerator. I've been waiting for you to get to the fridge, <laughs> even though we're fresh into the tour. It is just a beautiful appliance. Oh, it is so big and I didn't even fix it up, but it's huge, it's efficient, it maintains the temperature really well, much better than the propane refrigerators, uh -huh. the gas absorption refrigerators. Got lots of bins for veggies. This big freezer here. Wow. Actually a place for ice cubes. Two layers of storage. And again, it, it's very energy efficient. I love it. Yeah. And we get over to the kitchen area here. They've got solid surface countertops, which are light and bright. I think that really helps um, <clears throat> bring up the color spectrum within the RVs. They tend to be brown on brown. Yeah. So I really appreciate that Alliance put in some light color countertops, light color cabinets. We've got residential microwave, mm -hmm. a residential um, cooktop, or not a cooktop, but an oven. And we got to take full advantage of that yes. this weekend. Yes. When we, we celebrated yeah. Thanksgiving here, which we cooked a 13 pound turkey in this oven and it turned out beautiful so we'll yeah. be sharing that and i agree i think that the whiteness and the brightness up here mm -hmm. is definitely something that sets it apart even the nice wallpaper like the small crosshatch wallpaper that's throughout yes. the rv it's not only the kitchen that's super bright but it's throughout the entire floor plan yes 
for sure. And I have really enjoyed having a window above the stove here. Yeah. And a, a lot of times, you know, sometimes these vent hoods aren't the most efficient at getting rid of smells. Mm -hmm. So I turn on our uh, Max Air fan up in the ceiling, crack the window, and it pulls all the smells up and out. So that's one feature that I've really uh, enjoyed. That's great. And this yeah. island is huge, so you can yes, just sit here is. and prep and cook and get everything done and entertain at the same time. Well, it's kind of funny, you know, as RVers, we're just craving counter space yeah. all the time. And I had 18 inches of counter space in my last RV, yeah. and this is 34 inches. Yeah, yeah I measured it. <laughs> and a nice big sink. And a nice big sink, yeah. And it comes with a grate that goes across the top so you can expand your counter space. Great. Oh, the other neat thing is, is uh, we used to travel quite a bit with our Berkey. Yeah. For water filtration, we did never feel good about drinking water out of our freshwater tank. Mm -hmm. And so, as you guys know, because you have one as well, that as, you know, it's just one element of having to tear down and set yeah. up when you get to a campsite. What do you do? Where do you store the jugs to put the water into the Berkey? So this is a built-in system and it's not a filtration system, but it's actually a purification system. Mm. And so this is the Acuva Aeromax 2.0 and it's a built-in system. It has a small filter, pre-filter within the unit that comes that our uh, fresh holding tank the water comes into the pre-filter and then it goes to the ultraviolet uh, um, purification system and comes right out of our little wow. spigot. I am so jealous about that. That's something that I really want because not only are the portable filters and the travel things like Berkey and Brita, not only are they another step in packing up and mm -hmm. traveling, but they take up a lot of counter space and they make yes. your kitchen feel smaller by sitting out. And when you drink a lot of water, you're filling it up three times a day and managing it. Yes. Is this plumbed for a dishwasher if you wanted it to be? Yes, it is. So it would actually take up two drawers. Okay. In space, you would still maintain your bottom drawer. Okay. Here, it's nice and deep, nice and big, comes all the way out. Well, that's a nice option to have. Yes. And I love the detail lighting under here. Yes. Yeah, and that's part of the detail lighting that comes on with above with the um, crown molding up yeah. here. And so it's really nice at night when we've kind of cleaned up and everything. Mm -hmm. All the lights go out except for these and it makes a nice ambiance. ambiance for watching a show. Especially with your fireplace. Oh my gosh, the fireplace. You know, one of the things you give up when you full-time RV is some of those kind of homey things. Yeah, yeah. And so when we uh, saw this model, we really appreciated it, that it had an electric fireplace. Mm. The nice thing that the Alliance did also is putting a storage behind the fireplace. It's so brand new, you still haven't worked out the squeak yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be working on that right now. We're just got our extra electronic equipment. Yeah, here. that's a lot of space back there. It really is. And then more storage overhead. More storage overhead, just huge amounts. These are super deep. We keep all of our sports equipment, our running cycling bottles. We nice. got our trekking poles. So this folds out to a queen size bed. Oh, nice. Yep. We've got more huge storage in the back here. Yeah, and they've got these nice little storage shelves. And again, you typically don't have any places to make this look like home. So they give you a little storage cubbies to display some pictures or anything like that. We haven't, we're so new, we haven't gotten down to that. That's great. Yeah. And you'll notice there, if you lift up that lid, Oh. More storage cubbies. More cubbies. Yep, and it's on this side as well. Nice. One of the other upgrades that we did was um, my husband Jeff, he bought some additional USB, USB-C ports Ooh. to put in. Jeff put in an additional 10 USB-C ports inside and three outside. You guys will not be running out of power. No. And then another love seat. Yeah, this is a motorized love seat that comes with the RV, so that's kind of oh, nice. nice for getting comfortable. And then one of the things that we had actually looked at on the Alliance forum that a lot of other people 
did with their fifth wheel um, setup for the dinette, what we did is we went ahead and turned the table the opposite direction and kept one chair, got rid of the two chairs that were under the bed to free up more storage space. And it works great as a uh, desk. I love it. What's really great is that it's placed right next to this big window, which the windows are amazing. Yes. This window right here goes so far down and it opens left to right. Mm -hmm. So the airflow has got to be pretty good in here. Oh my gosh, the airflow is absolutely amazing. And the other thing I like about these windows too is the screens will slide. Mm. So you can have it completely open. So if you want to pass some things out, oh, um, you can do that. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Yeah. And then these you have Oh, the MCD uh, blackout shades. Full blackout. Yep, so that comes as a standard feature in the Alliance. And that's all the way around the entire RV. Yes. Love that. Yeah. And another thing that we ended up doing is, you know, we're always begging, borrowing, looking wherever we can for <laughs> shoe storage. Mm -hmm. And so I hung some coat hooks here. I love those. Yeah. And so place those. A, a place where we can hang our shoes and put a basket for additional shoes. Yeah, that's great. So, should we head up to the bathroom and yeah. do that next? Yeah, you bet. And once we're in the bathroom here, they have um, glass doors, sliding glass doors. Okay. And they have a fold, fold up or fold down bench. You know, yeah. when you're hooked up, you have that hooked up, you have that little extra, uh, you know, you can run the low water yeah. a little extra long. Take a regular shower. Yeah, take a regular shower with that. It's a beautiful shower and I think the glass really helps keep it open and feel bigger than what really it is. Yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And one of the other things uh, that we put in on this particular RV is what you're sitting yeah. on. So the residential um, bidet. It's just an addition. You hook it up just to your cold water. It doesn't have any heat or air or anything like that. But it is just something to, um, you know, in this RV industry, a lot of people are asking for bidets now. Mm -hmm. And so this is just something that we added for ourselves. One other thing is, you know, where the pantry is in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a storage that goes all the way back to the back Whoa. shower wall. So it's kind of a hot mess back there yeah. because things just kind of get tossed. <laughs> I'm thinking like big fluffy towels, yes. maybe some bulk paper towels, like anything that's just out of sight. Yes. And, and a beautiful countertop in here. Yes, it is. Everything's solid surface in here. So now we're into the bedroom here mm. and it is so cozy. Yes. We just absolutely love it. And right over here is our second head of the mini split, which again is super quiet. Yeah. I even have to run some white noise at night now just okay. to kind of, because it's so quiet that <laughs> you I hear something. too much out there. Yeah. You know, but um, it heats and cools the space wonderfully. I like how it like subtly displays the temperature. Yes, and it actually has a button. You can click that off so that it doesn't shine. It's good. You know, that's one other thing in RVs. Everything seems to have a power button that's lit. Mm -hmm. And so your house can be lit up at night when you're trying to sleep. Yeah. So we do appreciate with Mr. Cool that we can turn that little LED light off. Yeah, and did I hear Mr. Cool also heats? Yes, yeah, so that's awesome. a heat pump. That's great. As well as our air conditioner. And look at this massive bed. Yes, the Alliance comes with a RV King, okay. which is 74 inches wide, 80 inches deep. And we actually just fit a residential king size bed in here. So it's a full 80 inches or 70, 70 78 inches wide by 80 inches deep. Makes me want to take a nap. Yeah. I do notice some little slipper cubbies down yes. there. Yes, this is something that we uh, learned on the forums as well, the Alliance Forum. There used to be a panel, and so we um, decided to remove that. And so there's plenty of space underneath here to be able to tuck some more shoes. I usually wear sandals within the house, so at night when I 
tow to kick them off. I put them underneath there and I yeah. don't trip over them in the middle of the night when I get up. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I love the dresser. Lots yes. of clothes storage in there. Yep. And they give you a little extra storage of stuff in here where you can put, you know, jewelry or whatever. God, they did so good at using every nook and cranny. Yeah. And I like how it does split here so you can still have some decorative things that you don't need to move around in order to use it. Right. Super functional. Yes. Yeah, and even in their little bench here, you can lift up the seat and there's storage mm. underneath there. Nice. Yep. Oh, and then there's a really special something. We had really, um, we had met an Amish gentleman in Elkhart, Indiana who does little special cabinetry. And so he, you probably didn't even notice it was in here. I don't even know what you're talking about, no. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had him make us a, a cabinet, which is right here. And so it's an opening shelf underneath. Wow. And, and so then we can keep like I slide a book since we don't have any end tables. Um, since we have a full king size bed. So I just, we can tuck our iPads or books. It's amazing. Little, you know, little necessities that we want up here. And it matches the original wood. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. So yeah, I, mean, I, I would have no idea that this is here unless you told me. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it could be a safe place to store other things too. Sure. That nobody knows is there. Secret hiding spots yeah. are always fun to have. Yeah. And so, of course, Jeff had to have more USB ports put in because, you know, at night you're going to charge things. Yeah. So you just plug in your phone and your iPad and tuck them up right there. That's great. Yeah. And then one last thing in here. Yes. That I'm dying to see. Yes. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right. Look at those full length mirrors. Let's not breeze past those. Yes. That's something that I wish I had right now is full length mirrors. Yeah. You don't think that you need them. Right. Until but, you don't have them. Right. <laughs> and then they're wonderful. And then you're like, where are my mirrors? You're right. But here's their closet. And, you know, just a note uh, about Alliance that this is a 34 foot, 11 inch RV. Mm -hmm. And to be able to get a full uh, closet space up yeah. here, I think is pretty remarkable. And not only just closet space, but a place for a washer and dryer. It's amazing. I, so no more laundromats. No, la oh gosh. You do have to do smaller loads, Yeah. but that's okay. When you're parked somewhere, you can throw a load in every three or four days and, and it's done. A comfort of home. Yeah. Yeah. When we go to do laundry, I just slide over my clothes, put the wash in there. And then when I'm done and ready to move things over to the dryer, I bring this back over. Here, and I open this door. <laughs> a little gymnastics has to happen here. Yeah. But then I move things from one side to the other that way. Hey, I'd be happy to do that dance if it meant I'd be doing laundry at home. All right. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, I think that's everything on the inside, right? It sure is. I can't believe how much organization and just making it your own you've done in two short months. Yes. It looks like you've lived here for several years. Yeah. Just the way you've put your stamp on everything, all these baskets that fit perfectly, and all of the customizations that you did. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. And I can't wait to hear what is on the exterior of this RV. So let's go get Aaron and Jeff to show us around the outside. Well, I can see why you call your RV the Sun Angel because right now the sun is glistening <laughs> off this full body paint like yeah. an angel. Yeah, it is. We love the full body paint. You know, since we do so much uh, boondocking, camping out in the desert and in the forest, uh, it'll really, uh, the sun can destroy uh, the outside of an RV. So having, yeah. having the full body paint uh, has really been uh, helpful in giving longevity to the outside, the exterior of the RV. And this is the first year that their alliance is doing full body paint, right? Yeah, for the paradigm. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. for the paradigm. Yeah, for the paradigm. I like it. It's got a nice look to it. It, it doesn't have the traditional swirls like a lot of uh, yeah. RVs do. It's kind of got a little more angular look. Yeah. And I think the white, the gray, and the gold look good together. And right next to us here, you're leaning on something beautiful <laughs> from Moride. We just got done yeah. doing a factory tour this summer on some of these Moride products, and we really haven't seen a lot of them in use. 
and you got that nice extended safety handle already. Yeah, so these are some of the aftermarket things we, we did and, and, uh, and Alliance is offering some optional things. Uh, but this here, this handrail, uh, it's been just so convenient. It just tucks away like that, stows and you're ready to go. So it just deploys like this and just pulls right out. And then that gives you a nice little secure uh, for going up and down these steps. And these are the step above, right? Yeah, the Morite step above. Saw these just, in the factory. Yeah, those are just very easy to deploy again just by pulling these here. Yeah, so uh, been a, a been really stable and. And then you have these adjustable legs here, so when you're at different, oh, yeah. uh, you know, not all RV parks are level, and so those kind of help make up some of that. And then they also uh, have, these are optional little motion lights, so oh, at nighttime, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's dark and you forget to turn your lights on, and so these have little sensors on them, so it lights up your steps. I think anytime you can put a motion light on your RV somewhere, it's a good thing. Like, yeah. it just helps uh -huh. illuminate what you need to see. I yep. love it. Yep. The other thing for Moride, the uh, independent suspension. And oh. So with all of the things that we've added here, we've added some weight to the coach and, and uh, they offer this 8,000 independent, Moride independent suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, Deb talked a little bit about the disaster zone in the back of an RV and how much it <laughs> bounces around. Well, the Moride independent suspension helps level a lot of that. So we don't find uh, as many things shuffled around inside. Yeah, um, that's amazing. Result of those. We saw uh, Moride actually installing some of that on the coaches, uh, but I don't think we've seen one uh, out in the wild. So, how many miles have you towed so far with now? That? We've done about 3,000 miles, uh, went from uh, Indiana uh, out here to Southern California. Yeah, and it was the we've been traveling now for eight years uh, well, 10 years, seven times, seven years full time. This was the most enjoyable trip <laughs> we've ever had on Interstate 40. Yeah, uh, and a lot of it was due to the uh, independent suspension. Oh, nice, more ride for the win. And you got some more more ride stuff in uh, here, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So Moride makes some slide trays, and those have been really nice for carrying a lot of the things and organizing in the basement. But this, these uh, are helpful. They make uh, different sizes. They can. There's some standard sizes and customized sizes. And with the the big basement and the dual doors, a lot of people will put a slide tray that'll go uh, out this side, and it can also deploy out the other side. Mm. And, and we love it because it, it holds our Dometic CFX, the portable freezer refrigerator. So these are 12 volt. Look at that um, frosty yeah. hair coming. You don't have any ice cream in here. No, but. I don't, don't. We're trying to... Uh, <laughs> it looks uh, like there could be. <laughs> it's cold enough. We've been following Irene Iron Fitness, and so we're trying to manage our, uh, <laughs> oh, our sugar intake. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah. And then uh, with Sun Angel, you know, the, the, that's the theme of the, 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 the name of our, our coach. And the reason why is because we, not only the sun outside, and we love to chase the sun, but we're going to have a bunch of solar panels on it in order to uh, operate the mini split. We need to have uh, a, a system that was capable for that. And that's why we have all this here, uh, the Victron eye candy, but we have two yeah. uh, MultiPlus twos. These are the 24 volt, 3000 watt inverter chargers. And the beauty about these, because like Deb showed you, you guys, we have a, uh, a dual zone mini split inside and that requires 240 volt. Mm. split phase and so we're able to do split phase which is the same thing that you would have in your regular sticks and bricks house so you can run them both at the same time we can run them both at the same time what's the juice behind that that's the battleborn batteries so we have six uh, game changer batteries and those are the 270 amp hours each six game changers six yeah wow yep that uh, probably does a great job with those mini splits. So far, it's been awesome. We've only been testing it for a couple months, and, yeah. and so far we've had a couple days in Joshua Tree where we got to test the air conditioning mode. And then out here on the West Coast, the coldest we've been is 45 degrees, and that's not too bad. So pretty mild out yeah, here. Yeah, it's pretty right mild. Now. So yeah. we're looking forward to getting to test this in um, in uh, some more extreme I love temperatures. It. What a great looking system you had. Um, Link Spangler. Link from Spangler from uh, Power Up RV Solar helped us with doing cool. a lot of the, he's got a lot of, he's been doing quite uh, this for a few years now and he just has uh, such a nice way of, of, of managing all the cables and, yeah. and, and not only designing and, and the right size of the system, but. It looks good, yeah. I can definitely say that, wow. So yesterday we got up on the roof 
uh, Jeff had a bit of a biking accident, so he threw me up on the roof <laughs> to get some measurements on those solar panels. And I think because he doesn't have the air conditioners up there, that solar is just going to sit nice and flat. And yeah. what do we say, 3,200 watts? Yeah, we might can, be able to it looks like we can get up to 3,200 watts of solar up wow. on the uh, on the roof. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of a lot of power up there. Yes. That's going to be amazing. And so the mini split, um, the condensing unit is. Up yeah, so that's everybody. always where do you put the condensing unit and stuff. So, so here's the big reveal. Right here. Oh. Yeah. There she is, Mr. Yeah. Cool. Mr. Cool. So this is the compressor here that sits out and uh, it operates when the doors open. This is uh, just like most RVers, you always have projects that you got to do and stuff. So we've cut intakes down in, in the floor there for the intake for the air and then we'll have some screens or some vents out here for the exhaust yeah and that allow us to operate that while we're driving down the road cool and so most people put i think in fifth wheels put batteries up here don't they right and you were able generators, to generators they put generators oh, or the generators. batteries yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and so you were able to shove your batteries almost inside the plumbing of the yeah. rv yeah so they're tucked away, and so since we don't need uh, a generator here, uh, we were able to use this space for the compressor. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So inside here, I see the uh, hydraulics for the six auto leveling system, but also down here is the Dexter brake actuator, and so there's uh, disc brakes on that upgrade on the independent suspension as well, and that's, I can imagine, a, a pretty big upgrade as well, being able to stop this thing when you need to. Also right up here is <laughs> the Moride pin box. Yeah. We saw this bad boy uh, in the factory as well. So how do you like the, the rubber cushioning pin box? This has been, uh, it's a game changer for us, but it saves a lot of uh, marriage counseling because it eliminates the chuck or reduces the chucking that happens. The roads in America are really beat up. And, yeah. and there's a lot of, especially in like Northern Arizona and down in Louisiana, you get those roads that are just, you're going along and it, 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 it causes you to have white knuckling on the on the driving. Yeah. But since we have this and we, with the independent suspension here, this is the best towing experience that we've ever had. Nice. And since we're right next to your beautiful Denali truck, we might as well talk about the other half of this system, which is your fifth wheel hitch. <laughs> Looks well, like a that right. was it's part of the transition because even though this is only 35 feet long, it weighs about 15,000 pounds, and uh, our three-quarter ton truck was able to carry. The, the, the trailer was able to tow it fine. It was the pin weight or the cargo weight. And so that was something we learned, uh, we, even though we're seasoned RVers, we uh, learned a little bit uh, later. So after we had bought a new truck, we had to then go back and uh, end up with this uh, a, a dually now that is able yeah. to have additional capacity to carry uh, yep. this load. You almost had the kind of sister truck to our Ford Tremor. You were yes. going to have the GMC AT4, yes. which is a pretty cool looking truck. It's a cool looking truck, but it just uh, it it was not enough uh, cargo ca carrying capacity for yeah uh, this this RV. And do you have um, your pin weight numbers? Yeah, we actually do. Uh, so not only did we get that at the factory, because the beauty about um, having the Moride independent suspension done. Uh, and ordering it uh, when you um, when you option that uh, with Alliance is that they're able to then sticker the um, weight, uh, the carrying capacity of the trailer, the, the RV, at the factory. So what did that change this? To? So it added another 1,800 pounds oh, wow. of, of cargo capacity for us, or yeah. carrying weight. Wow. Um, which is pretty significant. It's, yeah, and for a shorter fifth wheel like that. So yeah. you're at 16.8 then? Yeah, for the 16, total eight. gross uh -huh. vehicle weight? Mm -hmm. Nice, and what is your uh, pin weight? Our pin weight's about, about 4,000, just a little under 4,000 pounds, and this here is able to carry up to 5,200. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got Well, you when got you some add the batteries and yeah. when you add the washer machine and dryer, and because we do so much boondocking, we like to roll with full freshwater tanks. So yeah. we included all that in the. One thing that's cool about Alliance 98 gallons of fresh water, 106 gallons of gray, yes. uh -huh. and 53 black. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. That yeah. is definitely amazing. So to pull that is uh, the uh, GMC has the puck system, so they, they have these holes already 
uh, punched into the bed there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Polrite has their, this is the 25K, their OEM uh, super fifth wheel uh, hitch. And so this is what we use to pull the RV with. Nice, and how is it uh, hitching up any? Oh, it's been like just, it? it's, it's seamless here. And uh, the beauty about it too is it, it's able, uh, this particular model, we're able to adjust it, the vertical up and down. Yeah. Um, and so with that, with the uh, Moride um, pin box, we are so level right now. It's just really been um, nice. a delight. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good looking setup between mm -hmm. the, the new yeah. Denali and this uh, beautiful yeah. Alliance. I love it. <laughs> All right, there's still more on the fifth more. wheel. Yes, but wait, <laughs> let's keep on going to the other side of this fifth wheel and see what else you have done for this beautiful guy here. Gal, I should say. Well, for anybody that's been in um, in Arizona, you know that the water is just really tough, and so uh, we've got we've got a water softener, a pre-filter, a water softener, and then that helps with the Acuva water uh, purifier that's inside too. Yeah. yeah. Now, have you had a water softener before? No, this, this is our first, first time ever having one, and uh, gosh, I don't know why we Do didn't you get one sooner. One? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're fans. We're I'm starting to see these bottles like at some RV parks. We were just uh, in Palm Springs and there was a few of them around and, and yeah. Chris, I think, was like, what is that? And I go, that's a water softener. Uh, it's pretty cool that you can have that in an RV now. And it makes it nice for the washer. Uh, since we have the washer and dryer yeah. uh, there, the washing machine there for, uh, we really enjoyed that. Yeah, so it kind of takes the hard water, makes it soft. And Chris mm -hmm. has mentioned before that she <laughs> would love to have that for washing her hair, and I'm assuming with clothes and yes. and all that, even just keeping uh, the shower door clean. and Even just uh, sometimes after we've traveled and you wash the bugs off the, oh, the yeah. nose of the RV there yeah. and things, I've been able to do that and not have the hard water spots. Nice. I see a couple green lights up here. <laughs> this doesn't look like factory what's that all about? no some other aftermarket things we've uh, we are such fans of the drain master system and so drain master has electronic gate valves uh, instead of using the the regular pole manual slide valves we're able to open and close our uh, valves for our black tank and our two gray tanks uh, just using these switches and we also have the switches inside mm. uh, so we're able to when you're hooked up like we are right now yeah you're able to drain your tanks when from you the notice, inside from the inside that's pretty cool we had yeah. uh, electric gate valves on our interstate mm. the van but we didn't have them on the inside you still had to go on the outside yeah and we had such little tanks that'd be pretty cool to be able to just dump your gray tank in the morning and not not go outside Yep. I love it. And so that's kind of like, is it a macerator system? or No, is it, is no, it just... this is all gravity. It's okay. a gravity system. And, and the beauty about uh, having this storage solution is that this hose retracts inside this, this uh, housing here. And then everything is plumbed uh, directly into that. And then we're able to just leave that hose connected all the time. Yeah. So basically you have a built-in sewer hose. Yeah. So you don't have to like connect or, yeah. or disconnect. Yeah, that's probably the biggest pain point in RVing is the black tank, emptying the black tank. You know, a lot of people, we always talk about this. Uh, yeah. This has made that experience the nicest uh, that we've ever had. Okay, I think we have one more uh, big thing to talk about on the back of the RV. And so fr from the back here, this kind of looks like a toy hauler almost with this awning, but it's not a toy hauler. No, we, uh, with all these bright windows, it's just so wonderful inside. But sometimes, especially like here, where uh, our back is kind of facing into the west and we get that sun uh, setting over there and it's really bright into the window. So it's nice yeah. to have an awning. You can get a case awning or you can have this awning. Uh, this is a Dometic uh, 9500 awning that is able to uh, extend out and give us some shade. You can kind of see how it... Yeah, it's perfectly shading yeah. your window right now. Yes, uh-huh. I love it. So Sun Angel's nice, but you got to have some shade even for Sun Angel to keep it from being too bright. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And then of course, you know, I can't, you know, uh, just uh, I'm in love with USB. You can't have enough power outside, whether it's 110, uh, 12 volts, uh, USB, USB-C, and then power. So we, we enjoy having that out here and on this side. 
Yeah, so if you had something uh, like a basket carrier back here, yeah. you had something along the lines of like a pellet smoker, yeah, maybe you yeah. could plug that right in there, right? Right there, yep. That's cool. Mm -hmm. This has been great. We're uh, really enjoying it. This has been, um, we still have a lot of projects left to do, but uh, we're kind of getting settled in. And so far it's been uh, just a joy to be able to uh, be able to have a couple months um, in Sun Angel. And we're looking forward to many more years out in the forest and maybe seeing you guys out there in the, in the forest, the national parks and the desert uh, as we continue this mobile lifestyle. Nice. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks again, Jeff and Deb, for inviting us into your home. We had a blast touring this. If you have any questions about any of the things we've covered today, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.